Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Computer Edit Design. So, uh, this is a lesson for the week two. Uh, so, you, you have learned about uh, all the function about the draw function last week and modify functions and about all uh, menu in Computer Edit Design. So, this week you're going to learn about a uh, modify menu how to modify order line and drawing in the autocad before we go further uh, i would like to introduce you guys to a few more things in autocad example like the menu here all right so all right this menu here we're going to use this after this all right autocad icon here before we start any uh, any files I need you guys to uh, do the page setup. The page setup uh, is to uh, set the file, especially for the uh, paper, for your end product, for your, for your final output. All right. So uh, since uh, after you go to the page setup manager, then click modify. So uh, in this menu here, first thing you need to uh, set the printers. Why we need set printers? Because this is where your papers, your final output will be. So we need to draw according to our final output. Example, like what are the papers that you're going to uh, print or plot in the end of your work. Right. So, uh, but in this case, since uh, we are not going to do any printing and we're going to do only a PDF uh, submission. So just select AutoCAD PDF. AutoCAD PDF high quality. You can actually add any PDF uh, okay, uh, option that you have. And if let's say you have uh, Adobe, actually Adobe actually one of the best uh, PDF uh, file that you that you can have. Right. So just click the PDF high quality print. Okay. In fact, under here actually you can uh, do more setup for the PDF. Example, the vector quality, your raster file. You must remember. The, the higher the quality or and the, the raster file, the bigger the file will be. Right. Once you're done, click OK. And then uh, for, for today lesson, I need you guys to choose A4 paper. Right. Just pick anyone here. A4 paper. A4 1210 and times 297 millimeters. So go to the next one. What's to plot? We will plot the display, right? Because uh, once we do the the once we once we completed the drawing, we're gonna change this into window. Right? Okay, then fit the paper, center the plot here, right? And then pick landscape. As you can see, once you pick the landscape, as you can see here, right, the paper will be uh, set to your A4 paper. The drawing will be set to your uh, effort paper here. All right. In fact, you can do more like a uh, plot offset. That one we'll do it later after this. Okay. So there is more in this uh, period set, uh, page setup uh, menu. Example here, the plot style. This is where actually you will uh, change your pen size. But you're going to learn this later, right? Okay, then just click OK. Close. So once you complete completed the drawing, when you go to you go in for printing or plotting, just click here and just click print here, right? Okay. So now we're going to start our first file, uh, our, our file drawing file. First thing you need to do is is to check the unit. So to check the unit, just type in unit. You must remember, uh, unit is very important in uh, AutoCAD drawing or, or in any technical drawing because if you set the wrong unit, example, you are, your drawing is supposed to be in uh, metrics, but then you set into inches, then your drawing will be wrong. When you want to produce a, a skill drawing, it won't get the skill that you, you are doing. Right? And then uh, when you want to use the block, or add in uh, furnitures, 
everything will be wrong. Right? And then when you're using millimeters, you need to check the position here into zero. Why? Because millimeters is the smallest measurement. Right? So what if you're using millimeters, then we're not going to have 0 0.5 millimeters or 0 0.05 millimeters. There is no such as measurement in architecture or in any technical drawing. Unless if you change this into meters, right, into meters, then we can have uh, 0 0.5 meters, 1.2 meters, or we can even ch uh, change this into 0, 0 like this, right? 1.25 meters, right? So if you're using millimeters, please change this into zero. The rest, just leave it. Example, like the angle here, clockwise and anti-clockwise, just leave it here. In fact, actually, uh, from my experience, we don't really use this. Okay, then click OK. All right. So once we have that, now we are ready to start drawing. Okay. So uh, before we start drawing, we need to uh, we need to set our working place. Right. So we will will be drawing at the model space here, right? So uh, the working place is actually uh, the size of uh, the, the area that we're going to work with, right? So uh, what we're going to learn uh, first today is to draw A4 paper. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the, draw the, the A4 paper. The size is, is uh, 210 times 297. So click the line here, or you can actually click line or polyline, right? Click anywhere between the X and Y axis here, right? And then uh, to have a straight line, you need to check, click here, the auto mode here, right? If you off the auto mode, then your line will be, uh, will not be straight line, right? It will not be an orthographic line. So you need to click the, the auto mode here. And as you can see on the menu at the auto mode, there is a F8 in the bracket. F8 in the bracket means it's a short form for the auto mode. So you can on and off the auto mode by pressing F8, right? Okay. So we're going to do, start draw the for paper. First, uh, bring your cursor to the top and key in 210 space bar. Right. And then you can bring your cursor to the right and press 297, press space bar, right. and then bring your cursor to the bottom, 210 again, press space bar, and press C for close. And as you can see, in the bracket here, right, I did mention about the command panel since last week, right? In the bracket here is actually the command or the tips uh, to show for the, to ask the user about the shortcut. Example here, line specify next point, right? So let's say you want to undo, you can press U for undo, space bar, sorry, U, space bar. So the line that you did will be back to uh, the step before, right? Okay, let's do again to the bottom, to one zero, space bar. And then uh, we want to close the line, right? You can just press C or you can just click here or press C, this bar, and then the line will close. All right, so it's here, okay. So I'm doing the panning here, so I'm just pressing the roller, right, pressing the roller. Okay, how do we zoom in? All right, so uh, we did, we learned uh, last week about the navigation. To zoom in, you can just scroll in here, right, or zoom out by uh, press the by rolling the scroll uh, towards you right if you ro roll the roller to the front and then zoom in right there's another way to, uh, for zooming is by pressing z for zoom and space bar and then you can zoom in straight to the drawing all right so we have this now uh, Whenever we you did you do the technical drawing, after you got the paper size here, the first thing is to draw the borderline, right? 
to have the borderline of the drawing. So, uh, so I'm going to introduce you guys to the offset here, right? Click the offset. Look at the bottom here. Offset specify distance. Once you click the, uh, the offset, the first question will be how much distance that you're going to offset. So in this case, just press 10 and press space bar. Click to inside. Click the line and press to inside. Click the line and press to inside. Click the line and press to inside. Once you have done, press space bar. All right, so that is offset. The next uh, function that I, I'm going to use is the fillet. All right, fillet here. Okay, so fillet actually, uh, where you actually uh, you delete the line, two lines, right? And uh, you want to make it round, or you can make it uh, uh, okay, uh, the the make the line join. If the the radius is zero, right? So uh, uh, when we want to make the line here, we can actually we can use trim. But this time I just want to introduce you guys with the fillet. So just click fillet here, all right? And the best way is just click one line and click the second line, the inside. There you are. All right? Okay, let's go. To the second here okay this time uh, i'm going to use the fillet again but then i'm going to give the radius so i'm going to click the fillet again all right look at the uh, okay, that, um, the menu at the bottom press r space bar and then it ask you the radius right so i'm going to put in here 10. it's a distance of 10 millimeters and when I click this with this, then you get this. All right. So that is a fillet. All right. I'm going to undo this again. All right. So I'm going to use the the radius zero to have a a proper order line for the paper. All right. So I'm going to use the uh, the fillet again function here. Press the fillet. All right. And I press the radius again. Space bar. And zero, as you can see, press this bar again and then fillet. Okay, let's go to the next line here. Okay, another way to cut two lines here is by your stream, right? As you can see, there is a menu with a, a scissors here. Just click the, the, the line here, right? Okay, so. Uh, you need to read the the comma at the bottom select object to trim all right so i just select this one and this one here once it's selected right press space bar and then select line that you want to trim one and two press space bar there is there is a few options about trimming okay, there's another of trimming as you can see all right I can show you here. It said that there is a trim command here. Or oh, the trim actually the short form is TR. Press TR, space bar, all right, and trim. Right. So same thing. Um, you need to select the line here, right? So I'm going to I'm going the the lasso selection, right? So uh, another way, right? Once you select that, all right, you just press space bar. And then please read at the bottom here. Okay, there is fans, crossing, project, and so on. All right, I'm going to choose fans this time. So uh, fans is uh, when you need to trim a, a multiple line at the same time. All right, so we see that the letter with F, blue, F colors here. All right, so that means it's a short form. So press F, it's bar. So what happens with fans, when you click, the lines will appear. Right, click again and click again, all right, and then press this bar. Okay, once you're done, just press escape or press this bar again, all right. So, there you are. So, this is an FO paper with a borderline, all right. 
So uh, next, I need you guys to do the uh, title block. There is few ways of doing the title block. This is actually a for paper. Uh, a for paper, so you can have a title block at the side or at the bottom, right? So um, I'm going to use the title block from the side here because uh, the paper actually uh, uh, is a landscape, right? So it's, this actually depends uh, whether uh, on the company that you're using. Some company, company for the A4 paper or A3 paper, you're using a uh, data block at the bottom. Some company at the side, all right? So uh, if you go for industry, need, you need to follow the company specification. You need to follow their standard, all right? So to do the uh, okay, uh, data block, press offset again, all right? Press offset again and key in 60. Look here, 60. Press page bar and then press to the inside. Once you have done, press space bar. Close whatever that you did, just press the space bar. All right. So um, I'm going to offset one more time, All right? Okay, so this time I'm going to uh, key in 50. Click from the top to the bottom and under one. All right. And from the bottom as well to the top. So uh, why I do this, actually there is no specific reason, right? This is just an example of the title block template. By right, actually, you guys should come up with your own uh, title block, all right? And that's it. I just using trim just now to cut off the line here, all right? And there you go. So that is how to uh, draw the F4 paper with title block.